Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Um, if you're watching the recording, thanks for watching. Um, even if you don't want catch me live, I totally get it. I watch a lot of Facebook Lives in the replay as well. Today I have a lot of things to show you. The whole side of my desk is full of pre-order things from the new annual catalog. Demonstrators got to order early. So I wanna show you those things. And then I've got classes and all kinds of other things to tell you. And then we've got three projects to make today. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I see you jumping on. Good to see you guys. Hopefully you are safe and healthy wherever you are and you are adjusting to our new normal. I was talking to someone today and I was saying, you know, this is the new normal. Like I feel like we've kind of settled in now, right? There's no school, there's a lot of no work or working from home and I just feel like, okay, we've adjusted. Doesn't mean I love it, but we've adjusted. All right, so let me see if I can find you. My iPad just like shut down. Oh, hopefully it's not gonna be one of those technology days. Um, yeah, so Donna, I've got lots of things to show you. I, um, we have a new catalog coming out on, um, do I have that photo? I guess I didn't pull it out. On uh, Maybe I have it. Oh, I'll grab it. Okay. On June 3rd, we have a new catalog coming out. Um, the annual catalog, the old one that we've been, um, working with. Why don't I have nothing is here where I need it. <laughs> <laughs> the old one. Oh wait, it's here. It's way in the back. Um, the old one. This one right here. Getting ready to retire. Here's the old one. And this one as well. The spring one. These are going. Goodbye. Some of the things are carrying over, but there's lots of new things. Let me grab that picture. I want to show you guys real quick. I sadly have not even received my hard copy of my catalog yet. We got to see the PDF last year. What was it, Tuesday? And lots of people have gotten their hard catalog, hard copy in the mail, and I have not. I ran to the mailbox today. I really thought today was gonna be the day because lots of my downline in the Houston area got there, so I thought it was, but nope. Just two, like, junk mails. So disappointing. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I printed the picture out so I could pick out what kind of coil I wanted for it. Um, so this is it, and we were able to pre-order from it now we couldn't order anything we wanted um, they don't they can't house two catalogs in the warehouse two full catalogs um, so they kind of narrow it down to um, a few suites of products that we could order so I'm going to show you what I got okay so you guys um let's see before I flip the camera around let me tell you who my winners are from last week um, if you shared the video if you share the video on Facebook, you get to, um, I'm reading y'all's comments, I'm getting distracted. You will be entered to win prizes. And let me tell you that today I have a cabinet right down here. That's my prize cabinet and it is overflowing. And I wanna pull out all the things that are retiring, give them away as prizes before the new catalog starts. So I have a lot of stuff to give away between now and the end of the month, okay? Um, so the way you get entered to win is just sharing on Facebook. Um, if we are Facebook friends, um, I think that's how it is. No, if you share it publicly, I can see that you've shared it. But if you share it to a private group or a private page, then I can't see that you shared it. So that's fine if you do that. But just make sure in the comments you say that you share it so I can enter you in. Last week's winners are getting Here's to Strong Women and some glitter dots. Pam Nablo. Congratulations, Pam and Jennifer Clinton. It's backwards, hopefully you'll recognize your name. I don't believe I have either of your mailing addresses. So ladies, congratulations, thanks for sharing. Please message me your mailing addresses, okay? I'd love to get those prizes out for you. This week I have four things, all right? I've got two witty sisms and two healing hugs. Is that what it's called? Yeah, healing hugs. So. I will give away four prizes next week to four people who share the video, okay? So make sure you share. Now today's Facebook Friday is gonna be a little bit different than normal. Usually we do three projects and I tell you a few things. Well today I'm gonna to spend probably a good 20 minutes telling, showing you all this stuff. So we're probably gonna go past the hour. I usually try to keep it right at an hour. 
And then after all of that, we'll make three projects. I picked the Clubhouse bundle this week um, because I could not let that retire without playing with it. I ha had barely played with it at all, and it's so awesome. So we'll do those three projects after I show you all the stuff, okay? Um, Facebook Friday is kind of like a class. If you put in an order, a $35 minimum order, and use the host code, I send you the projects for free. You get the um, class for free with your order. So if you um, wanna put an order in between now and Monday at midnight, use the host code. You'll see it when I flip it around. Um, it's also on the PDF. Then I'll send you today's projects for free next week, okay? And <laughs> Mike, hi Mike, good to see you. I'm like, Oprah, I wish I could give cars away. Um, there's a PDF at pinkbuckaroo.com right now. Hopefully the post went up. It's scheduled to go up the same time I go live. And it's got all the products and the measurements and all that that you need, as well as that host code right there. If you need to put in your order, you can find it. The And I have so many things to tell you. I even have some of it on the first page. Everything that I'm getting ready to tell you is also there on that PDF and at the bottom of that blog post that you can find, okay? And this is what your projects will look like when they come. I package them. Um, you will need the stamps, ink, and adhesive, okay, um, and dies. So like today's bundle includes the dies, so you would need the dies too. Um, I only cut out shapes if they weren't the die that I was featuring. Does that make sense? Um, and you guys, you don't have to order what I'm showing you. You can order anything. Maybe you already have a Clubhouse bundle and you want the projects, totally cool. You can order anything you want, whatever you want, okay? As long as I see your order, minimum order, and um, the host code that I know that you want the projects. Okay, so they look like that, real cute. They come in the mail for free. All right, I don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff. I have so much stuff. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Before I turn the camera around, oh, I wrote a note to myself. Um, you guys remember last month I did um, a class with the Power of Hope bundle that was a celebration item. It had that stone embossing folder and the Power of Hope stamp set. I made a class to go with those. I had enough of them to give them away with classes. I have a couple of them left. I was waiting to make sure all the people who bought them arrived safely and they did. So, well, I'm assuming they did because I haven't heard from anybody. But I, So I have a few of those left. Um, it will include that Power of Hope stamp set and the stone embossing folder, which by the way, I did not see in the new catalog. I really thought it was gonna carry over, but I didn't see it. So if you wanted that stone embossing folder, you can buy this class kit and it will include it, okay? Message me, okay? It'll be the first people who either message or email me, okay? Oh, Bren, you got your safely. It's been a while, right? I'm, I mailed those weeks ago. Okay, so I got that note out of the way. Um, all right, before I flip, let me remind you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Did you guys see, we did a blog hop yesterday. Here's the card, it's a shaker, and here's the project in the PDF. And I'm, I just thought about it this morning. I haven't sent these out in a week and I need to do that. So you get this free with a $50 purchase. So if you bump your Facebook Friday purchase up to 50, you'll get it for free. Um, it's also for sale in my PDF store. If you're a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator and you don't wanna order from me, that's totally fine. You can buy the PDF over there. It's 12, this month it's 12 tutorials all using that best dressed bundle um, and I am one of the designers it's 12 different demonstrators from around the world okay so if you want that if you're interested in that make sure you click on that link on my blog and find out more information about that okay I'm gonna show you my two classes before I'm gonna make you wait because I know you want to see the new stuff um, <laughs> for some reason I'm really upset my iPad is just keeps shutting down yeah it's shutting down I'm not gonna be able to see y'all's comments like I normally do. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I should restart it. I won't make you guys sit and wait for that. Okay, I'm going to flip y'all around. Oh, well, now it's up. I'm gonna flip y'all around and um, I'm gonna show you the two classes and then we'll start looking at all the pretty stuff, okay? Okay, so close your eyes because I don't have a fancy way of doing this. Although, I may have a fancy way of doing this soon. I don't know. I have time this month to maybe figure something out. Don't look yet. I have to move everything and it's still a little wonky and you might see my toes. They are pretty. I did paint them hot pink. All right, let's see. There we go. You guys can see, right? Everything's good. You can open your eyes. Look, why it keeps shutting down and it's frustrating me. Okay, here is 
the Bonanza Buddies class. I am obsessively checking the website to make sure we don't sell out of this because it is um, on the retired list. And everything on the retired list is while supplies last. And so I'm super worried about this class. The deadline is a week from today, right? The 15th, yeah. So if you want this class to go, make sure you sign up um, soon because if this sells out before the 15th, I'll have to close it down. I've been ordering as you guys order, okay? Um, I can't even remember now <laughs> what's in it. One, two, three, four, five cards, two 3D projects. You get some product and you can add on the bundle if you need it. I know a lot of you have it, but I know a lot of you didn't get it because it was on um, unorderable for a long time because they could not keep it in stock. So if you are wanting that, make sure you do that by Friday, okay? All right, let's see if I can get this to open. Now, this other class, you guys, I haven't made a video. Oh, we have member requests. Oh, I, I don't want to do this. No, I'm not going to do this because I'm going to make you guys wait. Okay. Um, okay, I think I got it. Now I can see your comments. It's like driving with a blindfold on when I can't see your comments. And that looks really weird the way that's angled. There, that's a little bit better. Um, this is the class that Angela McKay and I designed together. Um, Ange and I are very close friends and we love each other's stamping style. I feel like we're very similar. Um, our families have vacation together. I don't know why we haven't done this before. She lives in Canada. And so what we decided is that she would design a class and I would design a class. And then I would offer both classes in the United States and she would offer both classes in Canada. So that's what this is. It's um, hers is the Positive Thoughts stamp set. Mine's My Meadow. And each one includes five projects. Mine are cards. Hers are four cards in this beautiful box. Each one includes a bolt of ribbon, um, a pack of either rhinestones or glitter dots, and either embellishments or note cards. You get a ton of product with this class. You can add on the stamp sets if you need them. We're using Positive Thoughts for this one, My Meadow for this one, and the Buffalo Check for both of them, okay? You can see the Buffalo Check. Um, they are really beautiful and it's so funny because we didn't really even know. We just picked stamp sets that we were gonna do and we both kind of really stuck with that gorgeous grape color. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, so if you like purple, these are your classes. Um, anyway, so if you live in Canada, you can contact Ange and she will help you with the class kits to go. They're to go, they're not in person. Mine is in the United States, if you live in the United States. I also have both PDFs for sale in my PDF store. Um, the deadline for this one is the 20, 22nd, which is a two weeks from today. So you have a little bit of time. But again, there are some things on here that are while supplies last. So it could, we could have to close registration down um, before. We've, we are ordering every few days for who's registered um, just to ensure that we have everything for those who registered. Um, so if you want to make sure that you get in on these classes, uh, right, you want to register sooner than later. Okay. Okay, details on that over there on that PDF and at pinkbuckaroo.com, okay? Hello, hello everyone who's joining. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Okay, you guys, where do we start? What do you want to see first? I feel like we should start with the end colors, right? Now, I will admit to you, I don't know all their names. Maybe I do. Okay, here are the five new in colors. If, you, if you're unfamiliar with in colors, every year Stampin' Up! brings in five new colors and they stay for two years. So I've been talking about the retiring in colors. Um, this a few weeks ago, we did a Facebook Friday. Those in colors retire and they, um, Bryn, I see your question. No, I cut both classes for my customers or for anybody in the United States. She cut the classes for both classes, anybody who orders in Canada. Does that make sense? So like she wouldn't have to ship me her supplies, I wouldn't have to ship her supplies, nothing across the border. Um, I order everything for customers in the United States, she orders everything customers in Canada. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so here they are. Um, I love them. I love them. Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, Just Jade, this one's the one I can't ever remember. Moonlight Mist, is that right? And Cinnamon Cider. Um, by the way, this is a um, ribbon share and paper share coming out. If you like the ribbon and paper, you can get a little bit of all of it by signing up for a share. 
So basically what I do is I buy all the new ribbons and I cut them, I divide them into one yard pieces. Um, some of them this year will be two yard pieces because the packs are really weird. I'll just show you since I have one right here. Um, so like for instance, this pack of ribbon, the this bolt has five yards and this has 10. <laughs> so I would buy one pack for five people and everybody would get one yard of this and two yards of that. So you would get that, I think it's 21 different ribbons and trims, um, and um, I think that's all I was going to say about that. That ships really cheap too because it's light. Now, then there's the paper share, which I'll show you some of the paper in a little while. The paper I basically take and divide, I cut the package either in half, and everybody gets half a sheet of the 12 by 12, or I cut it in four, so everybody gets a six by six piece and I think it's 84 different sheets this year um, of the paper so if you get the paper share and the ribbon share you're also going to get a pack of there they are right here the new in color um, enamel dots for free as a thank you um, so there they are super cute I love enamel dots um, so if you would like a paper or ribbon share, you have to message me for that link, okay? I can't list it on Facebook. I cannot order any of this until June 3rd, and I can't order them until they're full. So it takes 10 people to fill a ribbon share, and it takes either four or eight, depending on how I'm cutting them, to fill a paper share. So if you sign up in May, I'll be able to order all of it in, on June 3rd. Then it takes me about a week or two to get it cut, packed, shipped, all that, okay? So that's the paper and ribbon share. So here are the end colors. Let's talk about the end colors. And I'm gonna show you some comparisons, okay? Because that's always fun. If you're a Stampin' Up! junkie, you like to see the comparisons. This is Magenta Madness. I love it. It is a bright, um, hot pink. It is a hot pink. So let's talk about, let's look at it next to our other hot pink, which is Melon Mambo. You can see very different. Doesn't that look like it has more purple in it? Um, so they're very different. Definitely very, very different. Now I wanted to bring this one in too. This is the one that's retiring um, Lovely Lipstick. It's very much more red. And then let's look at it with Blushing Bride. Those go together very well. And then Flirty Flamingo, not even close, okay? So there you have it, Magenta Madness. You can see that comparison. It's bright and beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring over my computer because I, I don't know why it keeps shutting down my iPad and I wanna be able to see what you guys are saying. Okay, so there's that one. Let's move that over there. The next one, whoops, they're all over the floor now. Um, Cinnamon Cider, let's see. I can see one or two comments on my phone. Yes, purpley. Yes, for sure. Cinnamon cider is, in my mind, it's a brown. But then when I compared it to soft suede, you can see it's very different. It's a very, very different brown. So then I thought, okay, that looks more Cajun craze. And look, yeah, right? It's an orangey brown. And it doesn't that look nice? That, that would be a great color combination. Cinnamon cider. Um, Cajun Craze Soft Suede. Okay. Okay. So there's that one. And Just Jade. This is a very trendy color. Um, turquoise -y, A greenish turquoise maybe. And then I think the closest you would get is Coastal Cabana. But it's much greener than Coastal Cabana you can see. Um, and then let's bring over Bermuda Bay. Okay, those two go really well together. This is much greener. And so then I thought, well, what about mint macaron? And those two look really good. Mint macaron and just jade. Very nice. All right, bumblebee. Mm, bumblebee is probably my second favorite. It's, um, what was that yellow, you guys, that we used to have that we got rid of that I liked, and not very many people liked, I can't remember, but this reminds me of that. It's a fall color, you know, like an autumn yellow. Um, so the first color I thought to compare would be So Saffron. Those look good together, but it's much it's darker for sure, for sure. 
And then um, Daffodil Delight, not even close. Do not go together at all. <laughs> so I'll just put that one aside. Um, and then what about Mango Melody? I thought, oh wait, now look. That, well, now in this light it doesn't look. Over there when I pulled it out, it looked like it went, but it's not as orange as Mango Melody, but not quite as light yellow as the others. No, not Star Fruit. No, not Hello Honey. It might've been more, mu more mustard. I cannot remember. Delightful Dijon. Now I, now I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look at my catalogs. It was a, it was not an in color. It was a, um, I'm trying to pull you all up on my computer so I can see your comments. It was a core color and I can't remember what it was. I think it was more mustard. Anyway, it's beautiful. I like it. And you know what? It goes really well with the next color. Guys, Moonlight Mist, is that what it's called? I can't remember. I cannot remember. And I don't have the catalog, so I can't even look it up. Look at those. Those look good together. So this is more of, um, I think, like a um, denim, like a denim blue. So I pulled out Night of Navy. And look, those go great together. Beautiful, right? And then um, this is Pacific Point. Um, so it's doesn't go with Pacific Point at all. So Night of Navy is good. Um, someone was just saying, I'm going to pull Crush Curry. I didn't pull Crush Curry. Let's look at that real quick. Let me pull that. I don't know why I didn't pull that one out. Because it does look like Crush Curry. You're right. Oh, wow. Interesting. Crush Curry is much yellower. So it's like a, um, I don't know, an orangey yellow. I don't know. Um, I, I think I, I, I don't mind Crush Curry, but I think I like that one better. Beautiful. Okay. No, not Yo-Yo Yellow. That's definitely before my time. <laughs> That's way back. That's funny. We had a lot of yellows, didn't we? Misty Moonlight with Balmy Blue. Okay, Lori, let me look. I didn't pull that one either. I don't know why, but you're right. I think that's a good choice. Balmy Blue. Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Balmy Blue. Misty Moonlight, is that what it's called? Yes, Misty Moonlight and um, Night of Navy. Seaside Spray, oh, I didn't think of that one either. You guys, you're thinking way ahead, or way clear. Let's see, see, ooh, ooh yes. I like that better than the, um, I like that better than the Balmy Blue. So look at that color combination. Night of Navy, Moonlight Mist, and Seaside Spray, hello, yes. You guys are right, gorgeous, very, very pretty. And this is an in color too, so this one will be gone after next year. Very pretty, yes, Lori, I totally agree, way better. Isn't that funny? You know, in my eye, as soon as I see colors that work, it's like it clicks in place. I don't know, does that does it happen to you guys too? Like it's just like immediately I know. So we weren't able to order the inks, um, the in color inks because of, I don't know, COVID, I don't know, manufacturing issues, whatever. And we weren't able to order blends or any of that stuff. So we have um, some of it. This is the new DSP packs. Look how cute they are. They'll come in every color family. These are just some of the patterns, one of the patterns, and then that's on the back, Distressed. Very nice. Um, here they are. And then these are really cool. These are like note cards that are already ready to go. See, in the in colors. And then look at the envelopes, how cute they are. And so I quickly whipped these up yesterday as soon as I got my box so you guys could see. So the in color club is the other thing that I opened up yesterday. In color club, you guys, is not a class. It's more like a subscription kit. You know, like it's a way to get everything but to spread out your payment. So you don't have to buy $250 worth of all the in color products right away. It's a way to collect all the in color products. So in the in color club, every month you'll get a pack, like one month your color will be magenta madness. And in that month you'll get the eight and a half by 11 paper, the ink pad, the ink refill, the stamp and uh, write marker, the stamp and blends, the enamel dots, the DSP, the cards and envelopes, the ribbon. What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing one other thing. I don't know, you get a lot. Plus you get a handmade card from me and you get a free embellishment. Every month as a thank you, I just buy everybody a free embellishment um, to put in your pack, okay? 
So you're getting something free every month. So it's a five month commitment and every month you'll get a different color in your kit, your kit with all that stuff. Um, and then by October, you'll have all five colors and you'll have all the product that go with the five colors and hand, five handmade cards from me. All right. So if you want to sign up for that, deadline for that is May 31st. Okay. So make sure you start, you sign up with that. Thanks. I'm glad you guys like those cards. All right. So let's move that. Oh, 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 oh. This is one thing I was going to tell you. Just like last year, the Stampin' Blends only come in four of the five colors. So Bumblebee, there's no Stampin', uh, there's no Stampin' Blends for Bumblebee. So on that month, you're going to get a pack of these um, Memory and More cards that feature all five colors. And let me tell you, these are gorgeous. They are awesome. Um, they are really, really fun. And I've already made a couple of cards with them. I'll show you in just a second. Okay. There we go. I like those five colors together. Sometimes the ink colors don't go well together, you know, but these do for sure. Okay, let's move that out of the way. Here is the paper, the DSP, that also goes with, or that's also the ink colors. It matches those um, Memories and More cards. I have to tell you something, you guys. This, this is this, and again, I'm not going to know the words for anything. Celebrate Sunflowers is one of the stamp sets and immediately like I was super excited because when I got married we had sunflowers in our bouquets. Sunflowers, red roses, and purple something. Those were our bouquets. So sunflowers have a very special place in my heart. I'll have to show you guys a picture. Um, so I was so super excited. So this paper coordinates really well with the sunflower stamp set and the other stamp set I'll show you in just a second. But it's really pretty, look at that, yellow roses. Very, very pretty, I love that one. And that one, oh my gosh. All right, so there's that paper. It comes in six by six. The other stamp set in that suite is another one I love called Jar of Flowers. We used to have a jar stamp set, and it was my favorite. And now we have Jar of Love. It has a matching punch. And let's see, where are they? I'm not very organized. Let me move this out of the way. I need to speed things up. We're gonna be here all day. It has these little shaker domes. So look, you can make your your jar have things in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, so cute. So look, I tried to color that to look like my bouquets that were at my wedding. So cute. So the little things that are in there are these things called Flowers for Every Season Gems. Okay? All right, so you guys like? Yeah? I know, so pretty. Okay, so let me just run through these. We have some new embossing folders, which I really haven't hardly even looked at um, these stamp and cut embossing folders greenery embossing folders they're little stamp and cut embossing folders tasteful texture and I like this one old world paper really cool old world paper okay now look at these dies if you know me you know that I was like yay more stitched labels and this what stamp set does this one go to I can't even remember Hmm, this one, N maybe <laughs> I should have left them together. I think it goes with this one, Tasteful Touches, which has DSP that I'll show you in a second. But anyway, you're gonna want those dies for sure. I haven't even touched the stamp set, but it's cute. Then we have this one that goes with m Mini Mates, right? I can't remember, but look, it cuts out like a background. That's pretty, texture background, pretty, pretty. I need to play with that one for sure. And then, um, uh-oh, I don't know where that one came from. I don't know, okay, I already showed you that. Birds, oh, hello, look at the birds and branches. I hate when my dies fall off, and I bet it went with this one. Um, birds and branches, so cute, little kind of like watercolory looking birds, so cute. I have been busy, Debbie, you're right. I blocked off this week so that I could immediately jump in <laughs> so that I could start designing and planning beautiful world this has a whole suite I'll show you in a second there's paper um, that goes with this I love the globes the paper is very masculine 
um, really, really pretty feather I like too. Okay, then we've got Forever Fern. And this one, this one's really interesting. Let's see if I can make some room here so I can show you. Um, the paper really kind of explains more, well, not explains, I guess that's not really the word, but if you look at the paper, you can see how it's very similar to the stamp set. See the dies and the stamps? They go really well together. All right, so let me flip through this real quick so you guys can see. Very pretty, all green. All green, very nice. Okay, there's that. Then what else do we have? Okay, I'm just gonna start putting things on the floor. The puppy's not in here, so we're okay. Lovely You Cling Stamp Set, and it goes with this punch, flowers, flower border punch. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> Field of flowers. That makes more sense. Field of flowers goes with a flower punch. I don't know. This goes with this new punch, right, guys? Um, lovely labels. Yes. Lovely You, lovely labels. It is um like an um, like a tag punch and it does six different things. Can't probably see it because of the glare. Let's see. There we go. Can you see it now? Really neat. Oh, Linda Jade and Spruce. Ooh, I'll have to try that. Good tip. I never use, well, no, I don't wouldn't say that. I don't use shaded spruce very often. And then this one was kind of a standalone set, a grand kit. Isn't this cute? So smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. It's a really good stamp set. Okay, so there's the stamps and the dies. Let me move all this back in here. I'm gonna have to get organized afterwards, so I'm just gonna throw it all in. There's some other things. So hold on, we're almost done. This is um, interesting, Forever Gold, um, what are they calling it? Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's, they're die cuts basically. All right, really delicate die cuts in here. Very pretty, I haven't looked at them. Ooh, hello, I didn't see that, look at that. It's like a background. Very pretty, that goes with the Old, old World Suite. Um, let me just show you the paper. Here we have, I can never remember, brass, right? Yeah, brass foil sheets. Oh, you can see me. Hi, guys. Um, that goes with this paper. That matches the old world. World of good. World of good. Not old world. World of good. Look at it. So pretty. Very, like, a sophisticated, masculine, um... I don't know, paper. It's really good, I like the map a lot too. Okay, there's that. Now this one is gonna be super duper popular. I've already used some of it, so I'll just show you. This is a 12 by 12 pack that has 24 sheets instead of 12. And it's all different textures. I've made a card, is my mom on here? Cause I've made her Mother's Day card and I don't want her to see it, but I made it with that cause she likes blue and white. Um, and so <laughs> we've got all these textures, brick walls, wood planks, scraped paint, um, like a tile. There's that blue and white again. I have two packs open, so there may be some of this is mixed. That looks kind of like a carpet. I love this paper too, Stacy. This is gonna be very, um, just, you know, it's gonna go with everything that we do. Very universal. You're gonna be able to use this with lots of things. Okay, so there's that. And the the pack is more expensive because it has twice as much paper as normal. Um, okay, look, here's the sunflower. I use one of those memories and more cards. Isn't that beautiful? I use the um, Bumblebee designer series paper in the background. Here's another one and unfortunately I stamped it crooked. Urgh. I don't know, well, it is what it is. But this is the memory of more cards and the stickers that come in that set. And there's that beautiful um, Moonlight Mist, <laughs> I cannot remember that name, um, ribbon right there. Is my mom on here? Mom, if you're on here, you better close your eyes and not look. Here's her Mother's Day card. Isn't that beautiful? 
Mm, love it. Okay, she better not have seen it. Um, and then we've got just a few random things left to show you. We've got early espresso ribbon. I don't think I really need to open that to show you that. But look at this. Like my nails, gingham. Bumblebee gingham ribbon. And that one too, just jade gingham ribbon. Some twine, some I don't know <laughs> what that is, like white. And I haven't even opened all of it. And then this is kind of a like a very vanilla texture and a gold. Um, very, very pretty. I like the ribbon that we have, the new ribbon coming. Some antique corners and wood elements, always fun. And look at these guys, these are so weird, but I like them. These just brass rings, they're very thin. It looks like it could fit on my hand. Almost feels like it can. It's just gonna add texture to your card. I wonder, it probably fits around the globe. I haven't even looked, but uh, pretty and very lightweight. It'll be easy to put on your cards. Okay, the only other thing I didn't show you were these, and I didn't open them, but they are the World of Good Memories and More cards. They go with all the globe stuff. Uh, I gotta be careful. And I'll show you real quick. Oh, Linda, wreaths. Those would make great wreaths, those gold hoop things. Yes, you're right, at Christmas. That's gonna be great. See, didn't think of that. It takes lots of creative minds to come up with different ideas. All right, and then that's beautiful. Very sophisticated, some stickers. Lovely, very, very lovely. Okay, guys, that's it. Wait, did I show you this card? Oh yeah, that's my Mother's Day card. All right, so there's the last two I showed you already. Let me clean off the desk. What do you guys think? Are you excited to get your new catalog? All of this will go live on June 3rd. If you are getting a catalog from me, I ordered them, and they are on the slow boat to South Texas. <laughs> I have no idea when I'm gonna get them. Um, you guys know everything is just taking forever, unfortunately. So be patient, just know that as soon as I get them, as soon as I get them, I will get them out to you. I will do, I will work all night to get those packed up for you because I want you to have them as soon as you can, okay? All right, let's 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 stamp, you guys. Let's do some stamping, that's why you're here. So we're gonna do um, three projects and I was looking for this right here and here's the postcode, let me put that there. So if you guys wanna order, um, you know to use the host code, $35 minimum. Remember, if your order is over $150, don't use a host code so you get stamp rewards, and I'll still send you today's projects for free. Now, I don't know where that other card is. Oh, hello, here it is. All right, so let me show you. Last month for Stamp Club, I can move that back a little bit, I think. For Stamp Club last month, we did um, this. This was our card. And my stamp club has two options. They can either, or one option, they can do the scrapbook page or the card. Um, Cause we don't have very many scrapbookers left anymore. It's dwindling you guys. Um, so I wanted to give, cause when I first started my club 10 years ago, it was mostly scrapbooking. Um, and it's just transitioned over the last 10 years. And sadly, I'm not even scrapbooking anymore. My daughter pulled out her scrapbook this weekend. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. I forgot I loved doing scrapbooking and I just haven't been doing it. Um, so here's a scrapbook and here's the card. You can see how they're similar. And so I decided that, you know, we think of golf as being a masculine set, but it doesn't have to be. There are lots of women golfers. So we're gonna just case or copy this card and make it a female version. Um, when I was in college, I played a lot of golf. Um, let me tell you that when you're young, it's a great way to meet guys. <laughs> and I think that's why I liked it so much. But in um, college, that's what I took as my PE class was golf. And in the summers, I worked at the golf courses here in San Antonio, um, one in particular for many summers. And um, I drove the drink cart and I worked in the snack shack and um, played golf at night. We got to play golf for free. So it was really fun. And I worked the Texas Open many times. I met Tiger Woods and Justin Leonard. So you now I haven't played golf in, oh gosh, 10, 15 years at least. So 
maybe maybe someday I'll play again. My husband plays and he'd like for me to play. But my whole point of that story, you guys, is that girls play golf too. So we're going to make a girl card, okay? And I found that when I made these projects, I really, the stamp set's great, but I really love the dies. I really um, focused uh, heavily on the dies. There's golf club dies. And if you go to Pinterest and you search Clubhouse Stampin' Up, there's some seriously cute stuff on there, okay? So check it out. And this is retiring. I should straighten these all up. This is retiring. So if you like it, you better get it. Because, oh, and that's the other thing I was going to say. It's on back order right now. And usually when something is on the retirement list, the last chance list, and it sell it sells out, that's it. But for some reason this year, they've got a lot of things on the retirement list on back order, which means more is coming. And I just looked it up and it's supposed to be here the 1st of June. Okay. But there's only a limited number coming. So if you want it, make sure you get it. Okay. Okay. Let's make our little golf little scene right here. I'm going to just stamp happy birthday on Blushing Bride in basic gray. And we're going to do a lot of cutting. We're going to do... We're going to do, let's see if we can do it all at the same time. And you guys, by the way, new die cut machine coming. Not one, but two machines. Get excited. It's very exciting. There's a big one and a small one, a little baby. Whoops. And guess what? They won't be available when the catalog goes live. That's, I just feel like everything lately, since all this COVID nonsense has begun, it's just one thing after the other and yes it is stupid it's not that important but good grief I could use some happy right I could use something to be excited about and I would really like to get a new die cut machine and I would like to order the end color inks so I would you know it's the little things these days I'm not all of our vacation Hawaii has been canceled Stampin' Up! events for the whole year have been canceled so now it's the little things we got to look forward to. But anyway, they say it'll be sooner than later when the, that die cut machine becomes orderable. So I'm hoping sometime in the summer. This golf ball die is a die, but it also embosses all those little dots. So we've got the, the ball in white, um, the tee in basic gray, and the little grass in garden green. Okay, so let's run it through. Shannon, I can't either. I cannot. I thought this was a sure thing this stamp set um, would be carrying over. I really, really did. Um, I don't know. You just, I don't know. It's so strange. You can never figure out what's going to carry over and what's going to retire. Because, I mean, I, I would have put money on it that this one would, um, this one would be in the new catalog. But I guess not. We gotta get it while we can. You know, I don't have any of my stuff here. Where's my adhesive and my tools and all that? I'm out of sorts. I'm out of sorts big time today. By the way, um, I usually try to do a clean recording. Oh gosh, just dropped that right in the ink. Um, I usually try to do a clean recording of all these projects for you. I, I can't find anything. Where's my, my poker? Um, but it did not happen today because, I guess I'll just use my scissors because I can't find my poker end um because we did some special teacher appreciation special deliveries this morning so I wasn't able to make any clean recording so hopefully you'll forgive me okay I have cut out two um stitched rectangles let me tell you what size they are the big one is two and a half by four and the small one is um, two and a fourth by three and a half Okay, so we're gonna layer all of these things on here. We're gonna use dimensionals, of course, but we're gonna need many dimensionals. Do I even have my many dimensionals here? I do not. So when I don't do a clean recording, that also means I'm a hot mess because I haven't worked all the kinks out. <laughs> oh well, I know you guys will forgive me. All right, let's start with our T. And it's super skinny down here at the bottom, so we're gonna it doesn't matter let's see i want to make sure i get it low enough it doesn't quite matter that you're going to see it because we're going to cover the bottom up with grass okay so 
See how it's sticking out? And I gotta eyeball this to see where I want it. Okay, right there in the middle. It would help if it's straight. Okay, now we'll put another little dimensional just right there and we will stick on, I need chocolate. Nina, you know what? Today was gonna be my day to just get back on track because I have been doing bad. A lot of ice cream happening around here. <laughs> and uh, it's not gone good. It's not gone well today. It has not gone well. We went and picked up lunch for Addie's teacher. And um, we have a place called Cane's, Raising Cane's. You guys have Raising Cane's? It's like a chicken strip place. And I had some chicken strips and they were delicious. So no, chocolate does sound good. But I've got to get back on track. You know, when you know you're not going to go to Maui, it's kind of like, oh, well, what am I worried about? Don't need to worry about the bathing suit now. All right, there we go. We've got it. And it looks like it's crooked. I don't know. It looks like it's offset, but we're going to go with it. We're going to pretend like it's perfect because these these days we got to fake it till we make it for sure. When we went to um, drop off my daughter's lunch. I mean, my daughter's teacher's lunch. She brought out her bag of all her stuff. It was so sad. Okay, I'm layering these with dimensionals. It almost made me feel sick to my stomach. Like, she's in fifth grade, I've told you guys. And that was it. Like, she left school for spring break with no idea that she would never be back in that school again. And it's her last year. And I feel like she's been robbed and cheated. And she had the best teacher. All right. I'm sorry, I'm boring with my sob story. Uh, I like that, Alyssa. Fake it until you become it. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Um, this is the really fun um, country club designer series paper. It's all kinds of really cool um, golf prints. And this piece is Blushing Bride. It's four by five and a fourth. And this piece is three by five. And we're gonna put it right there. Oops, oh, I just set it down crooked. Remember, all these measurements are on the PDF today, okay? Now, this is not smoky slate, but the ribbon is. Meh, I feel like it's close enough. In the right light, it's just fine. <laughs> it's all gray, gray is gray. All right, so I'm just gonna take that, and you know what, let's wrap it around, because I like the way that looks. This is the um, gray granite. What did I say? Smoky slate, gray granite, woven ribbon, not carrying over, and it's beautiful. It also comes in Poppy Parade and Granny Apple Green, which is one of my favorites. If this is one of those ribbons I like to pull apart and get all those um, fibers out. All right, so we're just gonna lay it right there, okay, and Let's put it on our basic gray card base. Fake it until you become it. That should be our motto right now. There we go, cute, right? Now wait, we need paper inside, it's too dark. I know I have whisper white here. Five by, no, five and fourth by four. And I didn't stamp anything on it because I didn't put anything in this one. <laughs> so we could stamp something in there. We're gonna stamp something on the, the other card. So we'll leave that there and maybe we'll add something to it. But there you go. I mean, that's a pretty easy card, I think. Pretty easy. And you don't have to put happy birthday. You could put happy Mother's Day if your mom is a golfer. You could put thank you, whatever. You could just change a sentiment and you have a fun golf themed female card. And if you wanted the masculine version, just use different paper and different colors. What do you guys think? Easy, right? Easy peasy. Okay, next project. I feel like I've been on for five hours. It hasn't even been an hour yet. Hold on. Super thirsty. All right, I think we'll do, we'll do the card, the other card next, and we'll save the booze for the end. You guys know I like to use the little boozy things to make boozy projects. So we're gonna make a boozy project today. We'll save it to the end. It'll be a good way to end, right? All right, next project. This is a card. And this uses that paper as well. The colors are all in that paper. But um, it has a whole different look. I used Poppy Parade really as the main color. So we're going to 
Hopefully I emboss. I brought the embossing folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. The Argyle embossing folder. Um, there's a lot of dies here too. Let me show you what I have used because I've cut some of this ahead of time. The clouds are from the Majestic Mountain dies, which we've used numerous times. And the grass is from these, oh, what do you call them? Um, um, the wiggle worms, wiggle bugs, dies, retiring. But I love that grass die. And we're gonna use that. I have also cut out two stitched rectangles. I've cut one out of balmy blue. Let's see, I think this is three by four. Three by, oh, three by four and three eighths. So both of them are the same. We're gonna take the grass and we're gonna cut across there, okay? Let's see, what else do we need to cut? Where's my card? <laughs> we're gonna emboss this. I have a piece of Poppy Parade that is four by five and a fourth, so we'll emboss that. And I just wanna make sure I get everything cut out. Oh, the little golf ball. Yeah, 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 it's so cute, look. Right here, this little tiny die has three little tiny golf balls, so cute. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so let's bring the machine back over, oops. And let's see how many pieces we can get on here. The new machine is similar, it is not electric. It is like a crank style, it's real um, heavy duty, they say. I've seen it, not in person, but I've seen it. Um, it embosses and cuts. The little one embosses and cuts. There will be, what else was I gonna cut? Da, 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 got that, got that, I guess that was it. No, I was gonna emboss, okay. Um, the little one will have, will, it'll, the catalog will tell you which um, dies will fit in the small one, and which dies won't. And there'll be special embossing folders to go with the little machine the, oh my little golf balls are all over the place we only need one let's put it right there so we don't lose it um see how tiny they are they're so cute um now we need to emboss so we're going to get out our regular platform um the new machine what else can i tell you about the new machine it is exclusive to stampin up you won't find it anywhere else i don't know Oh, Pam, your husband's a high school golf coach. Awesome. My downline, Deborah, her son is a senior in high school this year, and he was actually in my kindergarten class. That's how Deborah and I met. It feels like a thousand years ago. And now he's a senior, and he is on the golf team, and he's actually going to college to major in golf management. I don't think Deborah's on here. I haven't seen her, but maybe she is. Um, I hope I'm getting that right. Um, I think that's really cool to make a career out of something he loves so much. All right, there we go. I already cut the clouds, Carol. Got them. Thank you for asking. I know I'm talking and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing, making sure that I've got it, got it all straight. I did pre-cut those. Okay, I think we're ready to assemble. Everything else is cut. Let me bring it over here. Well, hello, Pepper. Pepper just came in. She's gonna take a little nap. All right, so we have got our balmy blue stitched rectangle, and we're gonna adhere our garden green grass down there at the bottom. Okay, let's do our clouds. I kind of wanted them hanging off. Oh, you see my fast fuse, you guys? There's something new coming in the new catalog, and I've heard it's very similar. We have we didn't get to pre-order it, but if you like fast fuse, you're gonna be happy. There's something new coming in the new catalog. All right, this is a half inch circle punch. This is a garden green stitched rectangle, not the smallest a rectangle. I do know my shapes. Stitched oval, not the smallest. It's the second smallest, and I'm gonna punch a half inch circle in there because we want it to look like you know, the hole where you put the ball. So let's get some dimensionals because we need to pop that off. Uh, do I have enough room? Yes, okay. So we've got that. Now let's make our little flag. There is a flag die in the golf dies. Let me show it to you. But it just wasn't, well, I don't know. Maybe it would have been okay, but I wanted something bigger. So I got just Poppy Parade cardstock. 
and it this is three fourths by one and a fourth. So right in the middle, which would be what's half of three fourths? Um, it would be five eighths, right? All right, we'll just make a mark close enough. Then I'm going to cut from that bottom corner to that that little that little mark like that. No, three eighths, right? Three eighths. Three eighths is half of three fourths, not five eighths. Five eighths is almost three fourths. And then we're going to turn it and cut it that way. And there we got a little triangle flag. Now. I have a little pack of toothpicks in my office, in my craft room. Do you guys have toothpicks in your craft room? <laughs> Next time you're at the Dollar Tree, grab a pack. Okay, now we're going to be a little sneaky with our adhesive here. We're going to put that dimensional behind there. Where is it? The little golf ball. There it is. Okay, good. Who said that? Heather. <laughs> Thank you. The good news is that I cut three of them out, so surely if I lose that one, I'll be able to find one of them. All right, there we go. Now we can take our glue dots and put that right there. And you know, I don't like how that's poking up, so let's get a, I mean, it's like coming up because I, the way I adhered it. So I'll put a little dimensional right there and we'll make it sit down. There we go, very cute. All right, now. It's gotta have a golf ball. And you could use your fine tip glue pen, or you can just be very careful. Uh-oh, oh, there we go, okay. Just a tiny little dot of Tombow. That Tombow needs to go, it's gross. It's almost to the bottom and it, you know, it's all gunky. All right, we'll put that little golf ball there. Now I have a piece of Whisper White somewhere right here, and we're gonna stamp that sentiment. Um, in Poppy Parade, it says, I hope the next year is full of green fairways, blue skies, and short putts. Very cute. A golfer would love that. So I'm going to stamp that right there in just a strip of Whisper White, and it's a little bit too big. Whoa. A little bit too big, so I'm going to trim it. There we go. I'm not going to cut my fingers. Wouldn't that be awful if I cut my fingers right on Facebook Live? with a paper trimmer because <laughs> I took my guard off of mine. I know some of you are cringing like, oh my God, what is she doing? I'm a professional. It's all right. <laughs> my daughter was using my paper cutter the other day and it was like making me so nervous. Um, yeah, a eh, little bit higher, a little bit higher. Let's tuck that in a little bit like that. So it doesn't cover up the golf ball. So cute. Okay, now let's layer up our card. We have the little embossed piece that we said was four by five and a fourth. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. Oh, I cut it smaller than that one, but it's okay. And then a one and a half inch piece of DSP. It's gonna go right across the middle. And then, hi Robin, good to see you. Happy Stampin' Anniversary today, right Robin? is her one year anniversary of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I can't believe it's already been a year. All right, and there, we'll put that right in the middle. That's exciting. I have mine, I can't ever remember mine, so I put it on my calendar so it would pop up and remind me. It's sometime in July. This year will be 11 years, I do believe. That is insane. All right, now the inside. I told you we were gonna do one thing on the inside of this one. Here's the golf guy, the golf guy. And we're just going to stamp him kind of off the edge, just off the edge a little bit. Hi, Laura, that's okay. Yeah, you need to go watch the replay because I showed all my pre-order stuff kind of in a jumbled hodgepodge way, but you can see it all. All right, and we go. Now we couldn't put this, I was thinking we could stamp this for the other card, but if we wanted it to be a female card, don't stamp the dude, stamp something else. There you go, it's cute. It's bright and fun and cheery. What do you guys think? Do you love it? I love this set, I love it. My husband plays golf, but my husband, 
My husband has a lot of hobbies. So if I was to make him a card, golf would not be the first thing I would think of. He is a hunter, fisher, bullet maker, golfer, what else? Um, baseball, gosh, he's got too many sports, but he would like it, he would like it. All right, one time I gave him a card and I made him give it back to me <laughs> because I wanted to, to use it on my blog or something, it was pretty funny. I don't think he appreciated that. Okay, I have one more project, you guys. We're gonna make a boozy, boozy golf, uh oh, hold on, hold please, it's falling apart. A boozy golf treat, look. I have done boozy gifts in the past and they're always fun. Um, now, obviously this is an adult gift, right? Because it has a little bottle of rum in it. Um, and whenever I do this, you guys always ask me the, si the size. I have no idea, 50 milliliters. It's just an airplane bottle. <laughs> Our, we have a, a liquor store called Specs, and I'm sure it's a chain you guys might have. They have a huge selection of these cute little bottles. And I always like to go and pick them out um, and think of what projects I can make. This one is pineapple. Hmm. That sounds yummy. So anyway, that's what we're making. One thing I thought about this gift, and I meant to do it. Let's see, do I have a gift card here? This would be good. You could slide a gift card. Well, I usually have gift cards sitting here, and I don't see one. Here, we'll use this. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, well, here's a Christmas one. Look, you could put a gift card in the back like that. Now that's cute. Father's Day's coming up. That would be a really cute gift, wouldn't it? Father's Day, birthday. Um, I also was thinking like a bachelor, I know a lot of guys when they're getting married do like a bachelor golf party where they go play golf. And so if you wanted to make them little, little party favorites to take, I mean, I probably wouldn't give them a gift card, but <laughs> that would be cute. In here is just trail mix. You could do whatever peanuts or pretzels or whatever you think, um, they would like. Okay. So let me show you how to make this. And I will tell you that I was inspired by something in the catalog. They have a box in the catalog that's similar to this. It doesn't have booze in it, but it um, is similar. And I wanted my box to be like that box, but that box is big. So I wanted a small box because the bigger the box, the more money you have to spend on putting, filling it up. <laughs> so sometimes you need a smaller box. Sandra, I'm very sorry to hear your alcohol stores are closed. Our alcohol stores are booming. Let me just tell you. <laughs> their sales have skyrocketed um okay let me tell you the measurements of this um in fact when i went to buy these i had to stand in a long line um this is a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is nine and a half by three and a half and we're going to score the long side remember all this is over here on this pdf over on my blog it's under the last photo okay um the long side at one and a half four and a half gosh i got to go get my eyes checked six and nine and then we're going to score it the short side at one and a half and three now you'll see when we put this box together i purposely designed it so that <clears throat> the flaps aren't the full size like this isn't a real box that could close because when i did they stuck out too far um, and they covered up this. So I cut down the little flaps to make them smaller. So they're just a half inch. And if you were gonna use this as a box, you could not really close the lid. Okay, down here where we have this skinny section, we're gonna cut out both the top and the bottom segments, okay? And then all you're gonna do is Trim, trim, trim. Louisiana too, huh, Karen? I, th hmm. I thought those were things that they were leaving open. That and, you know, other stores that people need. <laughs> I thought those were one of universally things that were open. Texas has been um, different. I, every state's different, but uh, traditionally, um, Texas has been a little more lenient. Our nail place is opened up today. So, yes. Uh oh, I'm out of adhesive. Yes, um, today. So, guess who has an appointment? <laughs> Actually, I don't have a nail appointment, I have a hair appointment. Let me get some more adhesive. 
Um, you want to use tear and tape or Tombow on this, but for time's sake, I'm using Fast Fuse. Okay, so remember I told you part of the, the top flaps are just a half inch. So what I was saying is that this is not going to close up like a regular box. You might make this and be like, Erica, your, your um, top does not close. It's not designed to close. It's just decoration. Okay, so just pop those out like that. Then you're going to fold these in. Yeah, you know, Karen, that surprises me about Louisiana. So your liquor stores are closed in Louisiana. I would think that they would be open because Louisiana likes to party. But you guys have had, y'all have been hit really hard. So maybe that's why. Isn't it weird how different things are from state to state? It's very different. Okay, so I just folded up the bottom. Just, burp, 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 you know, fold them in. And that's the sound you have to make too when you fold it in. Okay, now I have a long piece of DSP, one and three eighths by nine and a half. And you could use any of the patterns. I was trying to use a pattern that I hadn't already used. And I'm just going to fold it. Oh, drive up. You know, here in Texas, you guys, you can get alcohol to go at the restaurants right now. Like you can go get a margarita, a frozen margarita in your car and drive away. That's weird. But it's been very successful. <laughs> um, okay, so see how that wraps around. Now, I have this. I have several bags of this shreddy. Is that what you call it? Shreddy. This is just from Walmart. Um, you could just use whatever you have. And you know what, guys? If your alcohol store is not open, no worries. You could just wait. Because maybe nobody's playing golf anyway right now. Um, or, hey put two different snacks in there. It doesn't have to be booze. And in fact, I did not fill another bag for us. So this little bag is going to go right there. And I need to tell you about these bags. These are the ones that go with that birthday bonanza suite. See right here, they're patterned. And I filled it up, tied it with the golf twine, which is awesome, four different colors. And then I actually cut the top off so that, because this was like really long. Okay, so you just cut it to make it the size you want. Okay, now we're gonna just make, oh, did I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like some little, um, what are these called? Um, <laughs> what are these called? You know, little dowel, the little skinny, why can't I think of the name? Bigger than toothpicks, they get them at the craft store. Long, skinny, you just cut them with your, your scissors. I don't know, words fail me. Um, and I have not been drinking the, the pineapple rum, I promise. <laughs> Although pineapple rum, you could, you know, it's like a trip to the beach. Okay, this piece of, for our big flag, it's two by three. So we're going to mark it right in one, no, is that right? Yeah, right at one and a half. That does not, these numbers throw me off. Those of you that have this trimmer, the number, do the numbers throw you off? This is one right? This right here, but the one is right there. So I don't know. No, that, I don't know, but I can tell that's a half. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the numbers on this are weird. I'm telling you, they're a little bit weird. You have to get used to it. And it's very different from the one that I have been using. Okay. So see what I did the same thing, marked it in half, cut from there to that corner, there to that corner. Okay. Okay. Now let's do a little tiny bit of stamping on this project. The papers are all over the place. A tiny bit of stamping. We're gonna stamp this Happy Father's Day. And Debbie, doesn't it? It sounds like you're at the beach. Pineapple rum. Definitely sounds like a trip to the beach. All right, let's cut these pieces out. We're also, while we're here, has anybody tell me what these are called? Why can't I remember? Skewers. Skewers. Hello, that's what they are. Skewers. You can get them. Oh, well, skewers you can get at the grocery store. But you can also buy, oh, you know, like at the craft store over in the wood section. They have all kinds of bags of it, these. Patty, I agree. Anything with pineapple is yummy. We like pineapple around here, too. Now, this guy, it's not going to cut out the little, what do you call that? The little flourish. <laughs> the little... Um, greenery that goes around it. So we're going to cut it out in garden green. All right, so let's cut that out. And then we're going to come back 
and use these dies to cut some of these pieces out of the DSP. All right, so look, that's really neat. This piece, you can use that for a lot of things, I think, Christmas. Okay, so now for the paper, the DSP, the dies, like that die we just used, it will cut this out, it'll cut this out, it'll cut, we have the two longer ones that'll cut these out. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna cut them out with scissors so I don't have to stick my whole piece of paper in there. And then we've got these two banners. And we will, whoops, we will get these cut on here. And then we're just gonna attach them to our skewers. I don't think I can fit both of them. You know what, why don't we just cut it apart? Um, and then we will just stick them on our skewers and stick them to our box and then be done. These would be really fun and I think easy to make a bunch. Easy to make a lot of them. Now, if you didn't want to make a golf boozy gift, but you wanted to make some kind of boozy gift, maybe football or baseball or whatever, or, you know, I don't know, whatever theme you got going, why will that not go where it needs to go? That's okay, because we're going to cut this off on the end anyway. Um, just know that the measurements of that box are there, and you can use it to make whatever box you want. You could use whatever paper and whatever theme and then you can still put your little boozy bottle and whatever snack you want. All right, all right. Move this guy out of the way and we are ready. But you know what we need? We need some tape. I like to tape this. So let's see. Tape, probably not in here. All right, we're gonna make do. Um, my daughter, my youngest daughter, <laughs> You guys, where is it? Everything's gone, everything's lost. My youngest daughter is making a roller coaster in their fifth grade class, here it is. In their fifth grade class every year after the big state test, they make 3D roller coasters and they spend weeks on them. And it's like a rite of passage there at their school. They get so excited and she's been so excited and that's been one of the big disappointments that she didn't get to make the big roller coaster. So, her teacher sent the PDF, the plans for it, um, to everybody if they wanted to do it. And so for a couple of weeks now, she's been building this gigantic roller coaster. And it's really, it's really been interesting because you print all these little, these little pieces off of, um, off the computer onto cardstock. They're all color coded, different colored paper. We had to get different colored cardstock. And then, oh, I just made a mess of that. And then, okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Um, she scores them and at school they were using like a magazine and like um, I don't even know what they were scoring it with but they would put the paper on the magazine and then they would score it with a ruler and so I said oh girlfriend you are lucky because your mom has a very special very special tool that will score that for you much easier. So she has been using the Simply Scored and just makes it so easy and fast. So she scores them and then she makes these long um, like pillars and columns and she's making this huge structure. I'll have to share a picture with you guys. It's really, really neat, but it's taking forever and she's making a huge mess everywhere, every day. Okay, see how I put that on there? Now we'll put this one over here. Um, it's in my living room and it's a mess. But, you know, it's for school. <laughs> but anyway, the whole reason I brought that up is because she's used like eight rolls of tape and needs more. So, but whatever, it's fine, it's all fine. Okay, so we've got our two little flags here. And then I just, I'm using tear and tape because I can't find my regular scotch tape, but I would just use scotch tape to just tape this down like this into the bottom of the box, okay, like that. And then this one will tape to the front of the box like this, there we go. Okay, so you can see how it looks. 
And that one looks kind of high, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I cut it off probably shorter than the other one, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. And then you put your little things in there and you put your gift card. Yeah, and you would put your gift card. If you hadn't lost it, you'd put it right in there. Cute. That needs to be over so you can see it, but cute. What do you guys think? Very cute, very fun. And I know I would like that little treat gift for sure. All right, we made it. And only 15 minutes late today. That's not too terrible. I always feel like, oh, I don't want to keep them longer than an hour. They're going to be mad. <sighs> we made it. All right, we made three super cute, super cute golf stuff. Oh, wait, I have two other cards to show you too. Um, this is what we made today. Remember, if you put in your order by Monday at midnight, use your host code. I'll send you the make and take projects for these, all three projects for free, okay? Um, let me show you the other cards. This one is not my design. We made this um, back in January um, for a training. And isn't that cute? I think Rhonda Wade is the one that designed that. But I just love that card. Very cute. And then this is one that I designed way back in January. I love that little thing. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, that thing. But there is some more ideas. Okay, guys, remember, Clubhouse retiring. Right now it's on back order, but you can still order it as of right now. So make sure you get it ordered if you want it, okay? Okay, you guys, we made it. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Um, remember, check out my product shares. I've got paper and ribbon. I've got the In Color Club and I've got two class signups right now. You can email me or message me for any of those links. Um, you can also look on today's PDF and you'll find the links there too. Okay, you guys? Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, stay safe. Hopefully, you'll get out. And happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Hopefully, you'll get to have some time to yourself and maybe some stamping time. I know that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.